Is it time to get excited because bank earnings are good? What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update. It is, I don't know, it's about 12.15 Eastern time, and it's just a, a dead, quiet market. Yes, we're rallying again. Not a real surprise, as we've said almost every day. We're not ready to jump in and get crazy yet. Goldman Sachs report earnings. The stock is up about 8% today. And should we be excited? Well, I don't know. Why don't we look back and say it was down 40%. So an 8% jump, not, not such a big deal, right? Uh, again, I don't put a lot of into this. I, I think what we're seeing here now is volatility is rising now. All of a sudden, we've I think we find a bottom in the VIX. Uh, we're seeing a very slow and dull, quiet market, which we know that dull markets tend to drift higher. So that's not a total surprise. I think we're getting very close to, we'll call it decision time, and the decision will be, Will the market try to take the next leg higher or will this be the top? And I think the real key is to be able to watch around that 2600. Now, everybody's going to say, well, but we're at 2610. We're broken out. Well, we haven't necessarily broken out yet. Let's see how the action finishes the rest of the day and see if 2600 actually becomes support and, and or this is just a false breakout to the upside. Uh, again, I think some of the things that you look at are the quiet in the market, the absolute no action involved. Uh, you know, we can hear, we can listen about China. We can listen about everything else. It's all bull. It's all crap. Okay. Right now, the markets seem to be trading the Fed put. Uh, some will call it the plunge protection team. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think that we've clearly called for a rally. I think we're seeing the rally, and this should be and could be the very tail end of this rally. Now, on a, on a shorter term chart, you know, we'd be watching around 2610 or 2605 to see if it will break through there. But with the market, with the current action <laughs> in the market, I don't see any reason to be overly involved here. I think that's the bigger question is, do we need to be really involved there? And I think the answer is no. I think that it's much better to wait patiently for opportunities, because I don't see a big opportunity. I think that if you short the market here, I think you're guessing that the top is in, and I think you'll have plenty of time. Again, if we go down, and this is the top, we're not going down to 2550. We're going back down to the lows. So I think there's plenty of time to get in if indeed this is the top. But if it's going to drift higher, why put yourself in a position of pain well, you're waiting for it to go higher. So you so you have to pray for it to go lower instead of letting the markets tell you what to do. I don't. I wouldn't get long here. Now, we were long going into this, but I wouldn't get long here because I don't think, I don't know how much more room there's on the upside. But certainly, I'm not going to short this market here praying that it's going to go lower, okay? Uh, you know, we have oil that's churning back and forth. You know, they had a very bullish number, yet oil could not get a huge rally off of it today. You've got gold churning, looking to break out above 1300. You've got the bonds that were down big and now come all the way back this morning to close to around unchanged. So there, there's no real clear sign of what's going on. We do see grains a little bit higher. Uh, and again, they're very quiet, so there's nothing to get excited about there. Uh, meats are a little bit mixed. Fats are higher or live kettles higher. Feeders are kind of flat and hogs are getting slaughtered. Uh, but again, I think as long as they hold 59, everything will be okay there. So I, again, I, I think the, the picture here is, is why get involved in a market that you cannot garner or create an edge for yourself now, instead of waiting patiently for an opportunity when the opportunity arises. Again, if you get in too soon, you're going to be forced to make a decision you don't want to make. So I, I think we continue to watch. We continue to stay on the sidelines and wait for the right opportunity. And the opportunity could still be to the upside. You know, this doesn't mean that we have to go lower. Again, personally, I think we're going significantly lower, but that doesn't mean that we will. My algorithms are still pointing that the markets are still going higher. So again, I'm not gonna get in the way of the math that I already do for the market. So I think you sit back and wait. I think it's, it's very similar to the crypto space right now, which is kind of hovering down around these lower levels. I think the markets are hovering around these higher levels. And until 
I get a reason to take a position and go, I'm going to sit back. Now, again, those of you who are hedging, those of you who have been through my hedging class, you can do whatever you want. You want to buy here? Buy, hedge. It doesn't matter. Okay. Again, we've been buying some, we've been buying one stock every single day. We've accumulated in that separate portfolio about 12 stocks now, and we'll continue to buy, okay? Just because we can hedge them so we're not at risk to what goes on. In the meantime, my, my best advice today is to, again, sit back, relax, watch. Don't get too overly involved. Don't try to take a big position here because if you're right, great, but the probability that you'll have to make a decision before that, not so good. So that is it for today's Bubba's Daily Update. Remember, if you want to get a hold of that copy of our book from our friend Adam Barada of Advantage Gold, Gold is a Better Way, go to BubbaTrading.com forward slash gold. That's BubbaTrading.com forward slash gold. And also, if you'd like to help out our high school investing, go to uh, Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's Patreon.com forward slash Bubba Trading. Have a great rest of your trading day. Uh, my guess is, just if you want a little bit of a prediction, I'd say we close right around 2,600 on the S&P. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you back here tomorrow with Bubba's Daily Update. And you can catch me on Fox today at 4 Eastern time. And you can catch me, if you get CNBC Asia, you can catch me on CNBC Asia at 5, 10 Eastern time. Other than that, have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.